Tips TV. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as to the heart. Uh, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to collect it. All right, let's go down to the news proper as it is hot. It don't shell it. Um, Rep has said that the only solution to the insecurity in the southeastern part of Nigeria is the release of Mazi Nam de Kano. <laughs> uh, you know that's Nancy Anola here. A mass now when I want to Mantiano gay, Mbagi Wisi, a Burumanti Megani Sonia. But they are here, don't hear me. Uh, you know, say the Biafrans have the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in Ezai where they we know they listen. Uh even I say if to say the man for the listing to them, they pay attention for what they they talk. Uh by now I know things say they for the carry out the chook for the matters. Uh we be say consign Mazin and the Kano Ohamadike, one of Ndibo. <laughs> uh, but as the PM of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Uh, don't carry fire put for the anash. You know, those days when we were small, yeah, if you are having malaria, there is this um local drugs that your mother will mix for you. They are called local leaves. Uh, some are made out of purple leaf, mango leaf, mango uh, distant branches, uh, uh, lime, lemon, all those things, dogoyari, all those things will be brought together. After cooking it, they are now living in one big hot pot. Immediately, they are bringing it down from the fire. Uh, they will carry you and put on it and cover you with heavy, thick blanket. Uh, there is this heavy, thick blanket that is raining those days. Thick blanket, the thing ha, use, normally has hairs. On a one job of the blanket. <laughs> well, they, if they cover you inside that medicine, that local medicine helps. For like five minutes, my brother, if you come out, if you do not get well, they will know that what is happening to you is devil that is pursuing you. <laughs> and once you come out from that end, the heat and everything, my brother, you will get well immediately uh, if you have not passed through uh, those that kind of um, treatment. Just know that you are not born around 80s, 70s, and the 90s. It's only the children of the 90s, 80s, and 70s uh, that will know what I'm talking about. But those who are born in 2000, uh, my people, you people are small kids. Go and sit down and sleep. Now, so the thing that happened those days, one well, after doing that thing to you, uh, it be like saying, I'm waiting, uh, Simon Eba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, they do to the federal government now. And um, in don't carry their nash and their face put, to, put for inside the Goyori fire. <laughs> and they don't they hear them. Now nah, everybody they run helter skelter ta kirigiri gada gada make we know what we they do and now you don't reach the house of rep and then they talk about them small times senate go talk about them and as they talk about them president go carry them the man must the man must be freed by force by fire by force and person will be say chukwu kikabi ama they fight for eh uh, my brother you no go feed you that person anything no if he take time if he take days if he take years. Uh, but the Chukwu Kabia must still have the, the victory. Let's go down to that information. Uh, make you they see as they solve. Afam Ogene, a member of the House of Representatives, has called on the federal government to release Nam De Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. The lawmaker, a member of the Labour Party who represents Owaru federal constituency in Anambra, made the demand on the floor of the lower legislative chamber during the plenary on Tuesday calls for the release of Kano, particularly from Iwo stakeholders, have been frequent. Again, I said, the release of Kano is a political solution that will end the rising insecurity in the Southeast. I am using this unique opportunity also to also call on the executive that political solution to issues of insecurity is a way to look out, he said. In the Southeast today, there is only one line demand, release of Nam the Kano, and insecurity in the Southeast will be a thing of the past, we believe. The IPOB leader has been in the custody of the Department of State Service since 
he was extradited from Kenya in Nigeria 2021. In October 2022, the Court of Appeal in Abuja struck out the terrorism charge filed against Kano by the federal government. The appellate court held that Kano's extradition from Kenya to Nigeria to stand trial was illegal. The federal government filed an appeal before the Supreme Court challenging the judgment and also filed an amended charge before a federal high court. The government also filed a stay of execution of judgment in the appellate court, which was granted. The Supreme Court had the case in May, but adjourned it to October 5. So October 5 is the next day, and October 5 is no more for Okawan Nechi. Uh, today uh, is already a uh, fourth of... Um, Today is already 4th of October, so October 5th is tomorrow uh, where the case of uh, Mazen and the Canon has been scheduled to take place. Uh, but of course, you know the leaders of Ndara Rwala. Uh, you know that the leaders will be said in day for but my people, many of them Ndara Rwala. <laughs> you know, I see they be for them. Uh, people will be say if they see white, they go call them black. If they see black, they go call them yellow. If they see yellow, they will call them red. If they see red, they will call them blue. Now, so the people, they do. Yeah. Yeah, but of course, you know, as the B say, the man has been discharged and acquitted by the appellate court, uh, which is said that um, they are supposed to set him free and allow him to go. Uh, but as they go, uh, the people will be said in day on top of this matter and the government officials. Uh, you know, one thing about this nation called NIG is that... Um, they set constitution, and they are the first to break the constitution. The senators, when they are moving with their siren, they don't care whether the traffic light, light is on, but they expect the common citizens to obey the traffic light. The police themselves, when they are not on emergency duty, they don't care whether the traffic light is on. They just come out yeah, because they are police people with their siren. They pass by the traffic light. Common uh, rich men that maybe that were able because they are rich, maybe a VC in the university, uh, maybe a manager uh, in in uh, MD, in you know in maybe a, a specialist hospital, and the rest of them because uh, maybe their car and one escort. You see them moving, passing by the traffic light before because they have escort, and these people are expecting other. Uh, 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 common citizens to 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 obey the, the the rules and regulation of the constitution. Meanwhile, they themselves are not obedient to the constitution they have set. I think um it's high time since um constitution does not work in this nation. I think it's high time they suspend the constitution and let everybody start doing what they like. What you feel that is good for you, you just do it because I don't see the constitution working out. Because those who set the constitution are the people who break the constitution. Now, look at what is happening in the case of um, the, the, the president now. They say that you must have 25% in the FCT before you win an election. Now, the court have, has still ruled in his favor that having 25% in the FCT does not mean anything. I could also remember what happened in Imo State during the time of... Um, a hope Uzodema and the Meki Hedoya, where the court ruled that the Meki Hedoya did not get up to the 25 percent of the votes in in the in the local governments in Imo State. Meanwhile, he got the victory. Yes, people we are sure that he won the election because many people voted for him. But the issue was that he did not get up to 25 percent of the election in all the local governments in Imo State, which are the statutory rules. That he was supposed to follow before he became the governor and because of that after seven months in office he was impeached on that ground now when he goes to the turn of the president the the, the court the 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 the, the op opposition party fired that this man did not get up to the 25 percent in the federal capital territory and the court said that that does not matter the judge ruled against it that it is never a law it is never this and that now what is actually the constitution of this nation? 
because the, the judiciary themselves, whose their work is to interpret the constitution, are not giving the citizens the right interpretation of the constitution. They judge in favor of the rich man and in favor of those who have the money back. And this is the problem that this nation is facing. And this is why the Southeasterners are crying out for marginalization. Because when it gets to the judiciary, the law court, you see uh, uh, things changing. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.